What is up YouTube, it's your boy Jay Barber here. We are back at it again with another tutorial on how to do a mid fade today, all right? So let's get right into it. Let's start off with our gamma detailers. We're gonna start off by making our first guideline. We are going to do this about almost to the temple of the head, but not all the way. And we're just gonna drop it down a little bit in the back. We wanna start this fade out clean. We wanna make sure these guidelines are smooth. So this is gonna be the foundation of the fade, so you wanna make sure these lines are nice and crispy. You don't want no wobbly lines, all right? With our blade all the way open, we're gonna create our first guideline into the fade. This one's gonna be about three quarters and not an inch long. The only reason we're gonna go a little bit bigger on this one is because we do have that room to work with since today is gonna be a mid fade. And to knock down that line, we're gonna use what's called trigger play and we're just gonna open and close our clipper and make sure you get rid of the whole stubble down there because we don't wanna get back to this fade, which we will just to clean it up. But the purpose of the guideline is so you don't go higher than that. So you wanna keep it in between those two guidelines right there. Using our one and a half guard, we're gonna create our next guideline right on top of this one. And this one's gonna be about an inch and a half long. The only reason we're going pretty big on this one is because we want this fade to be nice and gradual and not a tight fade. From far away, this fade is gonna look super nice and blended and not like a bulk cut, if that makes any sense. On this step, we're going to be using our number one guard and our half guard to get rid of that line in the middle. The reason we're going to be doing this is because the number one guard can't take it down all the way. So we're going to go in there with our half guard and flick it out, use a corner technique. And we're also going to be using the trigger play technique on this, except we're going to have the guards on. Now with the number two guard, we're gonna go back in and flick out. We're gonna also create a kind of a guideline without meaning to, this, there's no way around it, but we're gonna go back to our number one and a half guard and kind of knock that one out. It's pretty nice and simple, not too much work, but this one's more about removing bulk than anything and just kind of get our fade really, really going. And this is pretty much almost the end of it right here. This is one of the most satisfying steps in doing these kind of fades. You're basically just removing bulk. You wanna turn your clipper upside down just so it really takes every hair down with it. And then we're gonna go back in and just really clean it up with our gamma shavers. And this is gonna leave the skin super nice and soft and it's gonna look super nice and blended once it's already done.
Moving on to the lineup of his head, we are doing the C shape on the sides. This is just gonna make it look super crispy from the v, uh, side angle. And on the top, we're just gonna make sure we don't push him back on the sides or the top. And basically, just gotta follow what he has now. If he does get a haircut frequently, his lineup will always be shown. There's no reason to push back. And just always make sure you keep it nice and clean. For the sake of the video, we are going to be using enhancements on this lineup just to make it look really nice and crispy and make it pop that much more. My boy does have some dark hair, so he really doesn't need this, but it's just amazing how much difference it makes and it just makes it look super picture quality and it looks really nice and smooth. For the back of the haircut and the other side as well, we're going to be doing the same exact steps of course. The only difference is we are going to remove the bottom bulk from the start just so you guys have a cleaner canvas to see and really see the steps that we're doing. Um, of course we're going to be following the same steps, we're going to follow the guideline that we have already shown right there. As long as you follow this guideline through your whole fade and you do the same procedure, your fade should look identical on both sides, there shouldn't be a reason for it not to. So as long as you just follow that guideline, everything should be fine. Just make sure you keep your steps super clean and... If the hair isn't too long on top, I like to leave this step to the end. We are using a number 5 card and we're going to be using this against the grain. We don't want to leave any long hairs. We want to make sure we comb all the excess cut hair already so it doesn't get in the way. And make sure you get every single hair on top because no client likes to leave the barbershop with long hairs in his head. It's just not right. When doing the lineup in the front, you want to make sure you always start in the middle. Just so you don't, because if you start in one side, you're more bound to make that side higher, lower, whatever it is. So you want to start down the middle and then that way you can get both sides as symmetrical as possible. And then that way you have a better view of what the hairline's looking like from a front point of view because the side sometimes can lie a little bit. So yeah, just make sure you always start in the middle. If you're a little bit more advanced, then you can start wherever, it doesn't matter. But if you are just starting out, 
make sure you start down the middle and just make sure you leave both sides as symmetrical as possible. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys didn't make it to the end, I really appreciate that. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button, comment if you guys have any questions. I am just starting out this YouTube. I'm grinding. I'm making sure I create good content for you guys. Um, so if you guys do enjoy it, please hit subscribe. It really means a lot to me. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.